टू माई चैनल मनी फी गाइज रिक्वेस्टेड टू फॉर मी टू मेक दो थी पैंस फॉर दिस नवरात्रि सीजन कमिंग अप सो आई डिसाइडेड जस्ट गिव इट टू गिव इट अ गो एंड आई जस्ट क्रिएटेड द मोस्ट ईजीएस्ट वे टू क्रिएट योर दो थी पैंस विद द पेपलम टॉप बट बिकॉज द वीडियो इज सुपर लॉन्ग विद बोथ ऑफ दैम इन इट आई डिसाइडेड टू डिवाइड इन टू टू पार्ट सो द इन दिस वीडियो यू विल बी सींग दी दो थी पैंट एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो यू विल बी सींग दी पेपलम टॉप वीडियो एंड आई होप एंड आई बी लिंकिंग दैम बोथ वंस डन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो यू गाइज कैन यू नो चेक इट आउट वंस यू चेक वन वीडियो एंड टू गो टू दी अदर वन सो या इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो सो फार मेक श्योर टू हिट दैट लाइक बटन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस दैट नोटिफिकेशन बेल बटन एंड नाउ विथ आर एनी फर्दर डू Let's get started. First, I'm going to explain everything on this piece of paper which I've taken of exact same measurement as my fabric so that I can explain clearly, but the only difference is that this paper is in centimeters and the fabric will be in inch. Rest all will be the same. So suppose this is your fabric, you have to fold it in half. So as you guys can see, this is the folded side and this is the open side. Then from the folded side, we are going to make a cone shape like this. So fold the first fold this way so that at one corner it's pointy like so and then fold the second side over like this but keep about 2 inches distance from the edge in the paper it's about 2 cm but on the fabric you have to do 2 inches all the way from top to bottom 2 inch away from the edge now then from the pointy side that is the bottom where your leg will come out in your dhoti mark a 2 inch point on paper i'm doing 2 cm only Now for the length of the dhoti I'm I want about 40 inches in total you can use 40 as well so place your measuring tape over the 2 inch mark we made and then measure the uppermost fold that is here mine is just about 36 cm in the fabric it will be 36 inches but i need 40 in total so we will take about 4 inch of waste band later keeping the measuring tape on that 2 cm line we made before and like this mark more curved points like this which is about 36 cm in length and then cut it out once cut we are going to make crotch and it's super simple too just measure your hips for example mine is about 40 inches so just divide it with 4 that becomes 10 inches and add 1.5 inch of seam allowance to it so that is 10 plus 1.5 that becomes 11.5 inch so just place the measuring tape on that 2 inch left over side which we left when we folded the second fold and mark 11.5 inches there in here i am drawing the centimeters but you have to do inches on the fabric and then make a rectangle like this and then on that mark just curve the rectangle from one side like so and cut it out your crotch is ready simple right now open the piece like so and you will see your crotch cut is like this and now all you have to do is cut this piece out from its fold to make two such pieces now once cut this is how your pieces should be like i'm just going to show you now how to fold it back and these will be your dhoti legs then now for the waistband just take your hip size in my case it was 40 right and add 6 inches so that will become 46 inches so cut out a rectangle of 46 inch length and for width i'm taking about 8 8 inches because its half will be in front and back will have the remaining 4 inches which you will understand when i do it on the fabric so just cut out a rectangle of 46 inch length and 8 to 9 inch in width now let's make our dhoti pants first you need about 2 meters plus a little bit more of the fabric for the waistband now i'm take, taking this rayon fabric in black now i've already removed a little bit from the fabric which we'll use to make waistband later so this is exactly 2 meters that i'm showing you guys so open it up and fold it into half which i've already done here and so this side is the folded one and this side is the open one next i'm going to do the exact same thing which i showed you on the paper that is folding the folded side into a cone shape first then the open side overlapping the first one leaving about 2 inch on the edge of the crotch see this is where the uh, first fold is ending like so and the second fold is here 2 inch difference is right there and this is how the folded cone will look like and at the bottom we have this much part 
So first, mark the 2 inch mark at the bottom pointy side where from where our foot will come out like we did on the paper and then for the length I'm gonna keep my measuring tape over that 2 inch mark and mark about 36 inches on this piece and keeping the tape where it is I'm gonna mark a curved mark of 36 inches like so here I know I brightened the lights because the fabric is black and I thought you guys won't be able to see where I'm marking so sorry about that if it's too bright I'll show you close up of everything You can see we just cut that part that was the length so what we did here was first we took out look who's sitting here so yeah first we took out uh, two inches gap at the bottom and then we kept a measuring tape here and then marked till this point which was about 36 inches we can only get 36 inches uh, of the length for the legs if you take a 40 inch wide fabric if you take 40 inch wide fabric that's all you're gonna get that is about 36 inch length so that's what I did if you take a wider fabric you can get more uh, length then we just marked kept the measuring tape there then marked point here kept the measuring tape there marked a point here and we kept it like so and then we made a curve and then we just cut it out next to make the crotch like I told you before take your hips Divide it with 4 and add 1.5 inch. So I'm just marking the 11.5 inch length which I calculated before and 2 inch width rectangle at the end of the corner I'm making a round shape and cutting it out just the way we did for on the paper. Same ditto. So now when you open the two cone folds this is how it will look like. Then just cut the remaining fold which we did when we folded the 2 meter fabric in half. So now you have two such pieces for your dhoti legs. Now I'm just showing you how to fold back your leg pieces. Yeah, leg pieces. <laughs> now, next step is take one piece and open it up and you just have to hem the straight sides by double folding it. Once hemmed, this is how these two sides will look like as these two sides are the dhoti's front flap so we can't leave its raw edges. Now, if you want to attach some lace or anything like that, just stitch it on top of the folded edges from its right side, starting from top, then going at the back and bringing it in the front again and do it till here, which is the length we will leave unstitched as rest will not be visible. So just st stitch till here. Now, in my case, I'm not attaching any lace. So let's just move on to the next step. Now to join the crotch together, open the first fold of both the legs like so, and then bring the second fold of both legs together like I'm doing here and flip the fabric like this so that one leg piece is over another. See this is where you have to stitch and this is the wrong side of the fabric. This is the inside piece that's why our hem is inside and just make sure that two right sides are facing each other. Once the pieces are joined open it like so then just fold the legs we did before. See the crotch is stitched so we have crossed attached completely from the front as well as the back so we have the back crotch that is this and this is the front crotch place this piece and stitch it just this piece not the back just the front piece and this folded piece together from their edge so that this piece doesn't open up like this so we are going to leave about eight inches from the bottom and we're just going to stitch this piece to the f this piece f till here like here okay this is what we're going to do we're just going to take the front this piece and this piece and we're going to stitch it all the way from here to here but make sure not to stitch this piece so just stitch this piece not the back piece just the front piece do the same on the other leg now i'm just drawing a line where the dhoti flap is so that it's easy when i stitch over it and the flaps are stitched straight so once done this is how it should look like as you guys can see this is the all pinned version and i've just pinned everything so see i have uh, pinned the folds of the front like this because I have to stitch all the way from here to here and then all the way from here to here which is about 8 inch away from the last point and make sure not to stitch the back piece when you do it you just have to 
hold the fabric like this like this like this when you stitch this piece whatever your hip size is add 6 inches to it so mine was 40 I added 6 inches so basically I cut up a, a long piece of 46 inches and the width I took about uh, 9 inches that is uh, we want a waistband of 4 inch like I said before I am taking a waistband of 4 inch so 4 comes in the front 4 goes in the back and this much I am gonna leave for stitching and I cut it a divided it into two parts equal parts okay so one is gonna go in the front and then the other one is go for the back just here and here you have to leave this much part open so that our Bermuda can, Bermuda can come through so just stitch this much part and this side the entire part now this is how the hole will look like that's because we didn't stitch that part now to attach it with the dhoti legs the whole part of the waistband will go in front parts center like so and then mark the points on the dhoti legs side seams like so and then also mark on the waistband side seams like I'm doing here so we know to align the waistband and the legs properly after we make the pleats. Then just keep making the pleats so that the lines that we marked on the waistband and the dhoti pants as matches up. So just do the complete front. Now as you guys can see I have made some pleats on both the sides of the front first and this is the point and this is its point and it's just going to stitch to this point and same goes with this point and its side seam so I'm just going to stitch both of them together and make sure that uh, it's this whole one this whole side is matching to this middle one. Do the same pleating thing at the back as well this is the front side as this one has the hole and I'm just gonna this is the right side so I'm just gonna flip it out so that it's wrong side out now I'm just gonna slide this piece into it and then just repin this with the waistband now so that you're holding the pleat and then keep this piece and pin it see I've pinned the waistband with the pleats and then just stitch over it once it's stitched from the side you just have to flip it like so see everything is fine now and then once that is done flip the dhoti wrong side out and then fold the raw edge of the waistband once and place it over the inside stitch seam like so to hide it and pin it and this is all in the inside part of the dhoti once you have pinned everything and the waistband is fit you'll have this hole to insert your bermuda in and out and i've pinned it all the way from the front and the back i'm just gonna do a top stitch all over it now once that is done this is how to look like and then just take bermuda or you can insert elastic as well using safety pin and you're done that was it for today's video guys i hope you liked it if you did please don't forget to hit that like button share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that notification bell button on so that you guys don't miss any videos of mine if you create any of my diys make sure to share it with me on my instagram page or my facebook page so that i can check it out and feature you guys on those platforms today's feature goes out to Anjana, Khadida and Niharika thank you so much guys for your lovely comments I really appreciate all the love you guys give to me if you also want to get featured in my next year video all you have to do is comment down below how you like to style your dhoti pants is it gonna be with peplum top or the straight cut top just let me know in the comments down below and I'd love to know that and do add a hashtag notification squad to get featured in my next video if you want to watch this video in Hindi the link will be in the description box for you guys to check it out and if you like what you see there do subscribe as well if you want to watch my beauty and lifestyle video just make sure to check that link down there as well and if you like it then do subscribe so yeah that's it for today's video guys i'll see you in my next video bye